Hey guys, what the heck is up? Welcome back to my channel and to another freaking video. I think it's been a couple of weeks since I have uploaded. I'm, we're not even gonna make that face because like, it happens, it's life. Life has been so crazy. This is actually like my first day. It's almost four o'clock. This is my first day that I've just like hung out in my apartment, just me, um, since I moved in over three months ago and that is crazy to me it felt so good i had the best shower of my whole life i watched some vampire diaries i had two cups of coffee in bed and i cleaned my apartment because as you can tell from the title my apartment is basically done i think there's maybe two things that i still need that i don't like know what i want to put there and there's such small details i didn't want to put this off anymore because i love my apartment so much and i'm so excited to show you guys a furnished apartment tour i gave you guys one literally the day after i moved in when half my furniture was not here i just wanted to show you guys and now everything is here everything is clean i have new additions right here since you guys have last been in this filming spot also the lighting right now a1 i also dyed my hair blonder we're working our way back to the light side if you guys are just stumbling across this video my name is Brittany. This is my apartment in Phoenix, Arizona. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom, and I love it. It makes me so happy. So I think I've rambled enough. Without further ado, I'm going to give you an in-depth video of my apartment. I'm going to try to link everything I can find down below in regards to apartment decor. If there's something that I forget to link, just comment down below if you want to know where it's from and I can find it. There's just a lot of stuff in this apartment. And so the likelihood of me remembering or finding every single link right now is, I'm gonna do my best though. So without further ado, we're gonna start in my living room. Um, and welcome to my home. All right guys, so here's my living room. I know it's terrible lighting because of the windows, but we'll switch it a little bit. So this is kind of where I was filming and one of my favorite parts, I mean, I don't have, can't have too many parts. My apartment's pretty small of my apartment. We'll start right here, I guess. So here's my bar stools. I wanna say these are from either Wayfair or Overstock. I know you're not supposed to shop at either of those, but it was really hard not to. Um, they came in sets of two. I believe they were like $130, which if you've ever shopped for bar stools, you know that they're really expensive. I wanna get like white fuzzy things to either put like there or there. I'm not sure, but they're still like a little bland to me. Um, my countertop is extremely high. So these are extra high bar stools and they're still like almost too short. So um, I really like those. They bring the place together. And then my plant corner is amazing so these mirrors i got on sale at urban outfitters this mirror frame also i got on sale from urban outfitters it's just a picture of me and my parents this plant is from lowe's i don't know where the basket's from this chair i thrifted at a um local place called three vintage chicks i'll link their facebook below this snake plant is in a I almost called that a mug. Why can I not think of it? A planter, a potter, whatever, from Anthropology. That is also a plant I just got at my local grocery store, but the plant died. So now it's a candle holder because it fits Bath and Body Works candles perfectly. I have two cactuses. The yellow one I think is also dying. And this candle that I have going, I actually made myself from this company called Candle Chemistry. It's really, really fun. I think they have them kind of scattered. So definitely check them out. And then you go here, which is one of my favorite parts. These pictures look really small in camera. But these pictures are from Etsy. I tried to shop small business as much as I could. And then, so they're from the same company. I'll link it down below. And then these frames are from Amazon. And then oh, my bar cart. This is one of my favorite things. I got the bar cart from Three Vintage Chicks as well. <laughs> the bags right there do not look cute. But this is... Uh, vintage thrifted my neighbor actually refurbished it and um she has a booth at three vintage chicks so that's pretty special these champagne glasses are from globin i have a wine glass with drink mixers and straws in it the drink mixers are from urban straws are from walmart we have some wine unfortunately these containers are all like sized differently because it's old and so it can only fit 
a couple things these wine glasses right here I'm not sure where they're from my friend got them for me and then the shaker that's a cactus is from um, a place called wine girl and then down here the Moscow Mule Cups are from my friend Michael. Michael, if you're watching this, I love you. The books are all from Amazon. They're just drink books. I have a Zodiac one, a Prosecco one, and then I think a Yes Way Rosé one. And then the flowers. Courtney's family has like a little home goods thing. So I bought that from them to support. And then my baskets. That's one of the things that I'm missing. We've tried to put so many different plants in there. And it just has not worked. So that plant basket is there. This one I found on TikTok actually. I want to show you guys from a different angle. And it is so special. It's actually hand woven by women in Africa. So um, the shipping was <laughs> as much as the basket. But I really, really liked it. It was super unique and I love the cause. So I got that on Etsy. But that's kind of the backstory behind it. And now my TV stand. My TV stand is from Target Opal House. This cute little like fake succulent and a hedgehog my mom bought me so i have no idea where that's from these lights i got on sale at urban outfitters for about seven dollars um this cactus is also opal house and these little beaded things are from that three vintage chicks however you can get these like anywhere and then down here i have a fake cactus i have this container from etsy that came in a pack of two and you can kind of see those are my polaroid albums I have those fake roses, or the real roses that never die, right there. And then a sign from Mariah I got for my birthday that says bad bitches only. So, there's that. And I love it. So, then you go right here. And we'll actually go outside for a second. But this is also from the Three Vintage Chicks. It's amazing. I love it. So unique. And then here's my door. And here's just what my patio looks like. It's really cool. Cactus is Target. Chairs are grocery store. Table is Amazon. And pillows my mom picked up, I wanna say at Lowe's. I don't sit out here too often, but storage closet. And that's the cute little setup. Okay, so here is the view from the door that we just came through. And as you can tell, this is new. This is from Walmart. I found a lot of furniture at Walmart. They contract out, so I got it online. The chair is Walmart. I'm not sure the brand, though. I got a white fuzzy pillow and this blue blanket. I'm not sure where that's from, but the blue matches my velvet couch, which is also from Walmart. Pulls out into a bed, which is really, really nice. But before we get over there, look in the corner. I have my Peloton. Um, I kind of hate it here, but I have nowhere else for it. So that's fun. And then we have these three mirrors that took forever to come from Urban Outfitters. I got them on sale. That's why half the reason they probably took so long to come. But you buy them all individually, but they're meant to be a set. And they're just so fun. And they are all different, but like the same, you know? So those are from Urban. This is something I need to get a shelf because these pictures are way too small. So I'm thinking eventually I want to get a shelf to hang over the couch so that way we can get a little bit more things because the pictures are just, they ain't the right size. But we'll look at the pillows. This llama pillow is from Urban Outfitters. I actually bought it for $50 and then it went on sale for $20. So I returned it and got it for like $20, bucks, which is amazing. This pink one is thrifted from 3 Vintage Chicks. Those two are also Urban Outfitters. The one in the back was on sale. They do not sell it anymore. But that circle one with the fringes, they still do sell. And this is my coffee table, which I'll try to show you a better angle of it. So it matches, as you can tell, that. This is one of my favorite things of my whole apartment. The butterfly tray is Urban Outfitters. The incense are um, Urban Outfitters. The candle is Urban Outfitters. This I got as a housewarming gift from Anthropology, but most of the stuff from Urban I did get on sale. I think the coasters are Amazon, um, but I know a lot of people get them on Etsy as well. So those things just have games in it. And this is what it looks like. I don't know what that transition was, but this just stores like my holiday stuff, so my Valentine's Day and Easter stuff, and this has my GameCube in it. So 
now we will head to the kitchen. So here is my kitchen. As you guys know, this is my least favorite part of my apartment. It's growing on me, but I just wish it was a bit brighter and better counters, but hey, it's my first apartment, so it is what it is. So here's the living room and the hallway. I have a trash can, Amazon. This picture I got at World Market. They always have coupons, so um, I love it. And then right here is a closet that just has my jackets in it, random stuff up there, my blankets, and my tripods and my cleaning stuff, so nothing too exciting. And my trash can is automatic, so it just opened. But this was really hard for me to fill. I'm gonna get a new paper towel holder. I believe this is from TJ Maxx. And this is from Three Vintage Chicks. When I bought it, I did not know that they were real plants. And these are so hard to keep alive. So I'm trying to grow new snake plants there because that died. This one's slowly dying. So eventually this will just be fake plants. And these are random candles from Anthropology. This green one I got for my birthday, but those are Anthro. Right there is a soap, my towel. Here's my cleaning things. I have a soap one and then a marble one from Amazon. My... What are these called? They're not rags. My towels are from Opal House. And then this plant is Three Vintage Chicks as well. You go this way. I have an air fryer, which is from Bed Bath & Beyond. This container is from Bed Bath & Beyond. These really cute knives are anthropology. Everything else is just pretty basic. I keep my medicine in there, Tupperware in there. Here is my stove. Those Opal House towels come in a set of two for $8. This is Bed Bath & Beyond. My stove is so hard to keep clean. This I got from a local boutique called Signatures. This is Bed Bath & Beyond. This is a fruit hanging plant. I, hate for, I don't know what I'm saying. A fruit hanging basket from Etsy. And my toaster is Pioneer Woman. And then you get to my coffee corner. This is Pioneer Woman, which is actually Walmart. Don't know where that's from. This cup is so cute. I found it on TikTok. It's from an Etsy account, my Nespresso machine, milk frother, French press, sugar-free syrup. My cups are up here. Some of them are like really cute. Those ones, wine glasses, more wine glasses. I have a problem. Here, this is pretty cute. Pioneer Woman, baking stuff, baking stuff. I need to get one more of these for that. That is Amazon. You go to my fridge where I have pictures of my friends. Magnets are succulents from Amazon. This my cousin shipped me. So no idea where it's from, but it's cute. And then over my door, I have this from Target. This cute little cactus sign from Amazon, my vacuum, and my rug, also from Amazon. And then we will head into my bathroom. So here is my bathroom. As you can tell, it's pink and bluish themed, I guess. It doesn't look like it on camera, but my towels match the blue in my shower curtain. These are from Sam's Club, and this is from Urban Outfitters and it looks like that. It's super, super cute. I have pink rugs, would not recommend. They're very light and can get dirty, but those are really cheap actually from Target. And then you go to my toilet, which my <laughs> toilet bowl cleaner thingy and my trash can are matching from Opal House. And my toilet, you can see here's the second one. Um, I had another one of these in my living room. Amazon, Target, extra toilet paper, Towels are Target, and this sign, I actually have, you can see my arm, hey. Um, I have no idea where this is from. My mom got it for me right when I signed my lease. It's really cute though, and I love it a lot. And then my counter has a lot more on it than I would prefer, and I do have a lot of storage. It's just hard, so that has extra makeup in it, hair stuff, toilet papers, lotions, things like that extra towels, pool towels are in that one. In that drawer is all of my skincare. It's not organized though, so I will not be showing you. This mirror, I have no idea. My brush holder. I got this extra brush thing from Coach. I don't know how long I'll keep it out here, but it's cute, so whatever. Soap is Opal House. 
dispenser. I don't know what I'm saying. Matches my toothbrush. The one <laughs> that I use to clean my shoes, that one I get delivered every three months from Amazon for like three bucks, highly suggest. This is Amazon, it's pink, it's pretty large, um, holds a lot of my makeup. And this corner, I have no idea where the ring holder is from. That is Target, Target Opal House. And this cute little sign that says enjoy the little things um, is from Amazon. Can you tell by the cactuses that I live in Arizona? And so my bathroom actually has two doors. So it has this one for the public and this one to the laundry room in my room. So let's go through this and we'll finish off this apartment tour. All right, you guys, and here is what the door looks like. Open into my room. This is one of my favorite pieces in my whole apartment. It's so cute. It hangs and it has a mix of a flower bouquet I got from Etsy as like a gift because you'll see I ordered a little bit more from her and dead flowers from when I moved in to, oh my gosh, I forgot to show you guys one of the, hang on, how could I forget to show you my, up here of my kitchen. So I have this, this is one of my favorite parts. So I have this cute little vase with more dead flowers in it. This is from Courtney's family's thing. This is like this plate. For my aunt this i don't love that much i got it at tj maxx these i got um they're from anthropology they're candles that are like this amazing gray color and if you get close you can see the texture my mom's friend gave these to me when i moved in and these really amazing candlesticks and then this is from my mom so i don't know where that is now that I've showed you that, let's get back to my room. So these dead flowers are also in the kitchen. That's what made me think of it. I have double doors to my closet that is not organized yet, so I will not show you this. This is my laundry room. I hate that it's in my room, but I also love it. It's just, you can't do laundry when you're sleeping or trying to sleep or doing anything in your room, but it's kind of nice. And then this is one of the things that I still need to cover. This is the second to last thing I need to get done. So I need to get something that will cover it. And then you walk in to my room and here is my dresser. My dresser is from Walmart. My neighbor built this for six hours. I think he wanted to kill me. These pictures in the frame are matching and they are from Etsy. Um, I just got a PDF and I printed them. These frames are from Target and then these two vases are from Urban Outfitters. These are the other flowers that I ordered from the Etsy shop. They're beautiful. I will of course link down below. This is from the Rainbows are Target. Books are all self-help. This cactus thing um, with a coffee stain on it, all right, is from Sedona. This candle, I have no idea. My neighbor gave it to me when I moved out. This cute little Moscow Mule fake rose thing is from that Three Vintage Chicks, um, as well as that hanging thing over there. And then my record player is from Urban. It's cream, and you can see those amazing details. And here is this corner, the basket is Target, the blanket, I have no idea. Mirror is, I wanna say Wayfair, and this basket is Three Vintage Chicks. I ordered some pompous from Etsy, and then these other flowers are from Three Vintage Chicks as well. So here's that corner. My curtains, my grandma cut for me, but they are Opal House. This little, I have no idea, um, dream catcher is from Amazon, I wanna say. My lamp is Opal House. My stands are Opal House. Are we surprised? Um, I have another one of those candles from Urban, one of those flowers that doesn't die, and this I got from Kayla and Paige years ago for my birthday. Here is my bed. Everything, pillows, sheets, all Opal House. Are we surprised? No. Bed frame is popping off. I got it from Wayfair before I realized how popular it was, but I saw it on TV shows. I've seen it from YouTubers post buying it, but it's just gold and that's what it looks like. I have the three pictures that match the three over my couch from Amazon. They came in a pack of six. The frames are also Amazon. These ones fit <laughs> the space a lot better than the living room. There's those. And then this corner is one of 
my favorite parts ever. I'm trying to back up. The plant stand is urban. This adorable cactus that's like hand sewn and made by somebody and potted um, is three vintage chicks. This, I wanna say, is Amazon. Here's my nightstand. The crystals are all from Sedona. And this really cute Leo plate my friend Julia made me. Those, uh, I wanna call everything a pot holder. The coasters are from Anthropology, Diffuser Urban Outfitters, Stand Urban Outfitters. I've had this for years and I spray painted it gold. As well as this, I've had it from years, from years, four years from Urban that I spray painted gold and it holds my sunglasses and necklaces. So then you go here and we are back to the living room to end the video. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys loved my apartment as much as I do. This place makes me so happy. I'm so much more productive here uh, on a day-to-day -day basis with even how I eat, my social, just everything is so much better. I'm so much happier. Um, I miss you guys. I always say that every video, but it's true. I do. And don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. My Instagram is down below. I have merch. I have a Twitter. I have, a, you know, you know the drill. Everything's down below. And I will see you so soon for another freaking video. Good. Bye.